Today I'm going to deviate a little from my usual style because uh, instead of just rambling on, I've actually written down some notes. And I think this is important enough that uh, you will forgive my staring down at my notes instead of right at you in order to get this point across. Photography. What purpose does your photography serve? Okay. We live in an age that photography has exploded because of uh, the proliferation of smartphones. The modern cell phone has completely obliterated the market for small point-and-shoot cameras. Uh, camera makers are scrambling to try and find a way to recoup losses uh, because of the fact that uh, they're really not selling any of the consumer-grade uh, stuff that they would be selling a few years back. When digital first started, it, uh, there was a boom. But of course, as soon as the phones got so good that uh, it made these little cameras irrelevant, then all of a sudden, uh, a very large uh, income stream just dried up. There's a cost to this image explosion, however. Every day, millions, God knows, possibly billions of images flood the internet. Okay, most of which will be viewed only a handful of times and then completely forgotten. Statistically, everybody's going to produce an exemplary issue, uh, uh, image at some point in time. The problem is that a lot of people now get uh, an inflated view of their capabilities because they managed to do an image that got a lot of likes. Now, let's face it. Uh, likes are not a very good gauge of your actual ability. You may get likes because you have a lot of friends, and those friends like the image, or because someone in the image was of interest to all those friends, and they liked it. Or it was just something cute that they liked. The problem with that is that we have people whose worth is entirely based on their likes, some of which, uh, well, let's say that... Uh, they become very famous and very wealthy without actually having accomplished much of anything. I shall not name names. Uh, what this does is devalues the work of actual photographers. People with the, who have put in the effort and uh, who have developed the skills uh, to do consistently good work and now overlook because, you know, Uncle George over there could manage to crank out a good image maybe once every six months if he gets lucky. But all of a sudden he's seen as the family photographer. Well, enough of that argument. Back to the original question. The me majority of images shared are simply to share. We live uh, in, a, in a world where it seems that people have developed an insatiable need to inform the rest of the world of every single thing that they do. These images have uh, an impermanence. It's as if they have a best before date and they very quickly uh, just expire. We become consumers of images in the worst possible view of that word because we crank out images, but they are only for immediate consumption and then quickly forgotten. Uh, this is, you know, consumerism at its uh, finest. Not. My personal photography has taken a few swings through all this as well. Uh, I started out uh, in photography because of a fascination with the equipment. I went from that to uh, my you know, child-rearing years where uh, I tried to make a record of our family, a historical record. As the kids grew up and as digital proliferated, that sort of drifted away. I mean, since 2009, I haven't been filling photo albums like I was up to that point. And that's a shame because uh, what's happened is that the, there's no longer the motivation. I have hard drives full of really awful images that really shouldn't even be on there. And I really need to go back and take a look at that. Do I try to produce art? Sometimes. But I find that, for the most part, I, I enjoy the genre of photography, I guess, that's more closely related to photo, photojournalism or street photography. However, I'm not trying to document 
people's lives. It's more a case of um, looking for what's interesting and trying to get a good photo of it. Anyhow, the point of this whole argument, uh, well, argument's not the correct term. The, the point of this entire uh, document, video document, whatever you want to call it, the point is just that I have been trying to improve my photography. To improve my photography, I need to photograph less and think more. The more I think about what I am photographing, the better images I produce. Do I take a camera with me? Yes. Do I take pictures of random things when I'm out and about? Yes. But I try to think about how I'm taking those pictures so that when I'm finished, I do not end up with a best before date image. Anyhow, if you have enjoyed this video, please click like. Uh, if you want to continue this discussion, leave a comment below. If you want to see more of my images, of, uh, more of my, my videos, sorry, then be sure to subscribe. And of course, if you want to pass this discussion on to others, share this video. So, thank you for watching. Bye for now.